starting to creep into the fish room. And of course I can't just have one fish tank, not even two, not even three, not even four, not even five. Now I've got to have eight because that's all I can fit in here. If I could fit more tanks in here, I'd have more fish tanks. Hey Bruce. So, how many mowers do you think I need for one yard? One, two, three, four. Again, it's not a number, it's how many I can fit. <laughs> There's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine mowers. Out of them, probably two are going. So two work that I can actually use. Um, a couple work just, but run really rough. And the others, of course, I will get to them and do them up very soon. Now who's with me? Should he? Toss them or keep storing them. How about sell them? How about someone tell me in the comments what do you think he should do with them? Well, I figure, see, this is the reasoning. <laughs> this is how I keep collecting them. I figure if I fix them up and spend a day working on the carby, clean them up and get them running, then I can sell them and make a bit of money. So I pay $10 a mower, I spend a day on it fixing it up and getting it running, if I can, and then I should be able to sell it for 70, 80 bucks. But that's the thinking, that's not logical. But it's not happening. I, I rarely ever fix them up and I don't get time to look at them and they get stored. And that's how it goes. Oh baby! <laughs> Nearly blew a hole through the bonnet of the ute then. <laughs> and peeled the paint off. There's still paint there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! That's some powerful stuff. <laughs> That's some powerful stuff there. <laughs> Alright, what was it? Where was I? <laughs> Before I exploded on the paintwork. You're looking in the shed for um, some comics. Yeah, our eldest son Gus is going to Supernova this weekend. He's getting to meet Stan Lee and he wants him to sign something. So he's thinking about some old comic books that he's got. And I know I tucked them away in a suitcase in the shed a long time ago. So I'm going to have a look. I think um, you might call sheds outbuildings in the US. And I'm not sure about the UK. Um, garages sheds it's an outside building that you store stuff in basically but while I'm doing that I thought I'd discuss with you whether I'm a hoarder or not now the general consensus around this house is that I am and I admit there's very big signs to say that I am but I can actually get rid of stuff I can sell it it just takes me a while and um, what I tend to do is store stuff for a little while and I get sentimental value to it and it's hard to get rid of but I can actually do it it just takes a bit of effort so I guess I'm a borderline hoarder I love to collect things and find things and store them away like a squirrel um, but I am able to get rid of it too so, like most things, I have been diagnosed with OCD. If anyone doesn't know what that is, it's obsessive compulsive disorder. So I guess the hoarding aspect probably fits under that banner. Because um, I compulsively collect things and hang on to them. And the good thing is I don't fill up the house with it. Colette does a pretty good job of keeping my junk that I collect out of the house. Um, but there's a lot of sheds in this yard and subsequently I've filled them all up just about. And I haven't shown it before on any vlogs or on our channel because to be honest I'm a little bit embarrassed about it. Um, if people come around for visits I normally just 
shut all the shed doors and keep it that way so people can't see what a mess it is but I'm going to actually show you and you can see the piles that I've just stacked inside the sheds out of sight usually I'll give you a look and then I'm pretty sure the answer will be from you guys that yes I am a hoarder but I am working on it and this last couple of weeks especially I've started thinning down and clearing stuff out and selling it in hope to sell some, some of it's worth good money. Um, a lot of it is collectible items. A lot of it will have to be dumped because it's just rubbish. And some of it can be kept to hang on to. But I've really got to concentrate on hanging on to very little, selling as much as I can and dumping the rest. So let's have a look. Now, they're just old buildings that were here when we moved into this old farmhouse. They're just old rough ones. There's no set floor, it's just dirt. Um, but I've managed to put tables and shelves and stuff in and stack everything on top of it. So this is the first bay. I've opened up the door and I've pulled some of the stuff out already. I've sold some of it the last couple of days and I've thrown some rubbish in the back of the truck. And so that's got me a little hole. I've got this little hole here so far. And that took me a day. It took me a whole day to clean out that much. Now, all around the edges I've got old suitcases and boxes most of this is um, records books magazines old toys and I think there may even be some suitcases of photographs and um, comic books so that's the section I've got to look in for just to find the comic books and the rest is just stuff I've got to sort out Anybody want a saucepan lid? Hang on, that one's broken. <laughs> Oops, so is that one. Oops. Just pick up the whole box and put it in the tray. I guess that one's going to the dump. <laughs> Maybe I should film this all the time because I, when I've got someone else watching me, I realise how silly it is. When I'm by myself, I think, if I hang on to those saucepan lids, um, they'll probably come in handy if I ever come across old saucepans. <laughs> but when I say it out loud, I realise how silly it sounds. Yeah, this might be an idea. Maybe we can do a series called Curing a Hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> Decluttering? Uh, but I, I think I should at least keep two. What do you reckon? I'm a collector. I'm not a hoarder. I'm a collector. <laughs> About a month ago, this door fell apart. Probably because I built it, but it did last a couple of years before it fell apart. Originally, these little buildings here, these shelters, had no doors on them at all, and I built doors to hide it all. Um, so anyway, this one's fallen apart. I'll take some of it off and show you inside this one. <laughs> I'm doing intro music. Well, now the question, am I a hoarder, even sounds redundant. Now that we look in here. Um, I take it most people don't have this sort of thing in their backyard. Now, this bit up the middle is my walkway. It's very important. If you don't have a walkway, then you're a hoarder. If you've got a walkway, you're a collector. Bye! Can you see me back here? I am in here. Now, most of this bay, all these piles, are boxes and baskets and crates of things to sell. So stuff I've got in this middle one, I would take to flea markets, boot sales, um, yard sales, flea markets, all of that type of thing. Most of the stuff in these aisles is for that. But, in all seriousness, a lot of that 
is just rubbish. No! Now, the justification I use in my head for that section is most of that is worth something. But the real question I should probably be asking myself is what it's worth. Is that worth going through all the trouble of storing it, trying to sell it, and having a mess like that? Probably not. So I have to get serious on maybe if it's worth more than five or ten dollars, keep it and throw the rest. But I do have to get serious. I know I've got a problem. Um, I'm just trying to fill you in on the justifications and the reasons I give myself to hang on to it. Anyway, one more bay. <coughs> now, this bay is mainly tools, hardware, um, power tools, toolboxes, bits and pieces that I have to sort out. And because I haven't got room, because I've got so much other junk, instead of sorting all that out, I've just thrown it in because I put it in there and I shut the door and forget about it. So that's what a lot of that is. This section probably looks worse than it is. If I got in and pulled all this section out and actually stacked it properly, it wouldn't be half as bad. Um, but it's just been thrown in there. It was stuff that used to be in the yard or rain was coming so I threw it in there or maybe it was stuff that I put in there real quick when I come home took it out the car and put it in there before Colette saw it things like that just get thrown in really quick and then I hide it and then when it comes time to try and find something then I get frustrated with myself because I have to dig through everything for hours just to find one thing. Empty cases. So, back to the original plan of finding the comic books for Gus. That was to go under a fish tank. Oh. How long since we've had a Volta vacuum cleaner? I don't know. Long time. <laughs> you just did I a can't. dance with a suitcase. <laughs> The real dance is going in inside my head. <laughs> okay, just concentrate on this area. It's hard to stay on track. I've got to remember, I've got to only look for comics. Comic books, that's it. Or else I get sidetracked and distracted and I start going through things again. That's, um, that's a bike rack for the boys. I've already got one in the yard. And I've sell! I found another one. So I can sell this. I'll put this in the pile to sell. They're pretty cool. The boys just put their front wheel of the push bike in them and it's a good place to park push bikes to keep them tidy by the way I've got a pile of push bikes somewhere hey look at this old original skateboard this is one of the ones from the 80s remember them who had one of them that's old school that's what I learned to skate on I used to skate all around the streets on one of these anyway keep going Mighty Mouse E.T. Two dollars Mighty Mouse, I love Mighty Mouse See, this is, this is where the attachment comes in Even though they're videos that probably should be just thrown in the dump As a kid, I loved Mighty Mouse, so the Wiggles, and that's got Steve Irwin on it. I love that version of the Wiggles because we got to meet Steve. Hey, cha, puffin' stuff. Hey, cha, puffin' stuff. 
Hey, have a look at this. It's one of the very first Apple computers. Macintosh. See the old Macintosh? Yeah. They were apples, weren't they? Yeah, there's Macs. an apple on it, yeah. yeah. picked that up somewhere and I put it in the shed about a year ago because I thought that's got to be worth money and I never researched it I forgot about it um, but yeah I have to look that up because I'm prepared to sell it I've just got to find out what it's worth now when I boxed all these up I took the time to write on them important old collectibles comics books and school books yeah Oh. In the cardboard box. Oh. Well, I think you put mothballs in with them too, didn't you? Now, there's no guarantees these are going to be the comics I'm looking for. School books. School books. Oh, the kids' school books. I think they are, or is there? Young blood. Mad number twenty-seven. Mad super special number twenty-seven. That is. Archie books. Archie number 121. From memory, this should be about 82. Archie Comics, copy, copyright 1985. There you go. 1985 Archies. The X Factor. That's one he'll be looking for. That's an X-Men anniversary special from 92. So because he's going to meet Stan Lee, Stan Lee did um, Iron Man, X-Men, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Only found one, didn't it? I think so. That's DC, not Marvel. X Factor. It's one of these. He said it was an X Men book that had four episodes on it, is what he wanted signed. That's it. That's what he's looking for. Awesome. That's the first box I've gone through. Mm -hmm. I get lucky sometimes. I don't have to go through all the other boxes. Yes, you do. Not now. No, not now. <laughs> not now. No, don't make me do it now. Okay, so success. You found it. I hesitantly showed you some of my collection. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm still going to ask the question, am I a collector or a hoarder? Now, I'll let you answer in comments and we'll see what sort of responses we get and come back with. Be gentle with me. Remember, I'm trying. <laughs> Colette would say I'm very trying. Anyway, there's a little another side of me that isn't shown as often and I hope you appreciate me opening up a little bit and sharing some of the things I'm a little bit embarrassed about but that's some of the things I have to deal with and get through and work on so thanks for joining me take time for the simple joys bye <laughs>